What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. That's right, you saw the thumbnail and the title correctly. It's a compliment video for the warmer weather, which would mean spring and summer. Pretty heavily requested, that's why I do it every year. And uh, while not the most important thing to me, obviously I know a lot of you are interested, so I'm here to share some experiences with some of these fragrances that I gear ideal for the warmer weather that seem to bring in some positive attention from for me, uh, if nothing else, just personal favorites of my wife's, but do get the occasional random compliment from strangers and one that's an all-time great compliment getter for me. So let's dive into these 10. Stay tuned. Starting with one of the newer fragrances to my collection, the Eau de Toilette is fantastic, but the Lip Parfum of Le Beau is even better. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's tropical, it's a little soft and powdery. It's a great performer. It's a great fragrance. Man, it smells amazing. This is one of the best releases from 2022 in the designer realm. Um, one of the best overall releases last year. I would, I would put it in the top 10 of last year for sure, regardless of niche or designer. This smells fantastic. Obviously, you have to like sweet, but there's such a tropical edge to this. This juicy pineapple note really blended well with the coconut that was already present in the Eau de Toilette. You still get that soft, sweet, powdery tonka bean. There's a little bit of green freshness from some cypress. This iris note that's in the note breakdown doesn't really jump out heavily. There's a little bit of a soapy floral tone, but the powderiness definitely comes from that sweet tonka bean. This is a gorgeous scent. Great evening out in the warmer weather type of fragrance. Fine during the day as long as you like fresh and sweet this is one that will go that route definitely more on the synthetic side it doesn't smell like it's full of natural oils or anything like that it smells like a mid-level designer fragrance but it's a damn good one at that it seems to run out of stock pretty easily every time any discounter stocks it i will try to find some links where they may potentially have it in stock and put it down below for anybody that's interested in checking it out but if you're looking for some pretty good attention this one is a delectably sweet tropical fragrance that's just built for the warmer weather. If you like that style, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Beau, Le Parfum. Next is actually my current scent of the day. Um, the funny thing about this is an oddball fragrance, but it's very attractive. Um, I had gave my wife a pretty big hug after the live stream that I did a little while ago. And then when I went to talk to her before I closed the door to this room to record this video, she let me know, she's like, whatever you're wearing, first of all, smells amazing. And secondly, it rubbed off on me and it's all I smell on my shirt. It is awesome. What fragrance are you wearing today? I'm wearing H24 Eau de Toilette. Yes, I have tried the Eau de Parfum. I do find it to be superior. I will secure a bottle of that at some point because I know somebody's going to mention it in the comments. But this has this fresh, almost green citrus-like metallic tone in the top. There's no citrus listed according to them. It's just three notes and bergamot or anything like that isn't listed. But it's very green and metallic. Does not smell natural in any way, but if there's such a thing as a higher quality smelling chemically synthetic fragrance, kind of, I don't know, counterintuitive to one another, but it's, it's this, and it smells awesome. It really does. There's a light floral sweet tone to this one. It's a little earthy and woodsy as it dries. Simple note breakdown that they give you, and pretty straightforward fragrance overall, but performance is stellar. In my experience, this actually will creep up on you in that eight hour range easily in longevity, which still surprises me for as fresh as this is, but just a delight. Yes, the EDP is a bit better if you're looking for deeper and richer, but if you want all of that freshness that tends to capture people, you might want to stick to the Eau de Toilette. This is Hermes H24 Eau de Toilette. Now with this next one, it's a polarizing fragrance in many ways for people because if you sniff it directly off the of skin yeah it's very cheap and synthetic smelling but out in the air it's a great cheap alternative to two all-time great niche metallic fresh fragrances in my opinion Zerzhoff Mephisto which I have and love and Creed Silver Mountain Water we're talking about Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage this is a magnet an absolute magnet for compliments. A, it's my wife's all-time favorite scent profile. She loves anything Silver Mountain Water, Zerzhoff, Mephisto. She actually, I've gotten more compliments from her on this one than the niche fragrances that I have that smell like this. Um, very powerful fragrance. Very strong, easily a 10-hour fragrance on my skin. Loud, strong projection and sillage. This one will pull some attention. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. I've read comments of, oh, it smells cheap. It smells like a clean synthetic cleaner of some sort it's not for everybody mid $30 price point though it's kind of worth a dice roll 
I love it. It's always had this metallic, inky, fresh citrus tone. It's a little watery. It's herbaceous. It has a synthetic tea note. It's made to replicate Creed Silver Mountain Water, not so much as Erzhoff and Pisto, but they do kind of smell similar and relate to one another. They have their differences, but there's a strong similarity. But if you like either of those and you want the budget cheap version that performs great and, in my experience, definitely pulls in some attention from strangers, from your significant other, that's been my experience. It's just a damn magnet for compliments. For the warmer weather, it's hard to beat if you like this scent profile. It's Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. This next one combines the best of both worlds when it comes to the attractiveness of the Polo Blue DNA and Dior Sauvage's DNA. Sprinkle in a little bit of Cypress and you get Polo Deep Blue Parfum from Ralph Lauren. I don't believe it's in production anymore, but it's still pretty easy to find. It's popped up at the rack stores, most noticeably uh, I've seen it at Nordstrom Rack. I believe you can get it on their website. I know it shows up in their stores. I've seen it at Nordstrom Rack multiple bottles, multiple times. You can find it from discounters online. It's not super expensive. It's in that affordable price point. Man, and it smells good. It's got that watery cucumber smell to it from the original's DNA. Some ambroxin that's going to remind you, a little bit of fresh spice and ambroxin that's going to remind you of Sauvage. And this green, bright, fresh cypress note that's kind of the thing that separates the two DNAs. It's like the two meeting in the middle to this cypress note. That's kind of how it's always come across to me. Those of you that heard me speak on this one before, this I sound like a broken record probably, but this is a solid performer. Eight to ten hour fragrance and longevity on my skin. It performs great and it's pretty captivating with, it, with its power. It can reach out and grab somebody. It's got a decent sillage and trail on it. This is super attractive, as mass appealing as they come. It's as blue as blue gets. Like I said, polo blue mixed with sauvage and some green aspects to it to kind of make it into its own type of hybrid blend. I don't know if that's exactly what they were going for, but that's what the hell they put out. It is fan freaking tastic A compliment magnet in its own right. This is Ralph Lauren's Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Undoubtedly the priciest fragrance on this list, but it's timeless when it comes to the way this scent profile comes across and its attractiveness to females, in my experience, in many people's experience. Most notably, when it comes to people I see brag about the compliments on this one on social media, shout out to the Hood Sense on IG. Because I don't, I don't think I can talk about Elysium Parfum Cologne and not think about that man. I've seen him post about this fragrance just so many damn times. I hope you see this video. Shout outs to you. Hood Sense on IG, guys. Entertaining fragrance content. But I digress. Metallic, bright citrus, fresh green, herbaceous tone in the heart. A lot of woods, clean musk. It's mostly this metallic, fresh fruitiness. People will relate this one to, as an alternative to Aventus. I don't find. It can do a similar job. It's just fresher, but... I don't think it really smells all that much like a Ventus, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's definitely its own thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, it's it's metallic, but it's high quality metallic. If there's such a thing, it is this. In my personal experience, I don't think I've ever worn this and not have somebody at minimum my wife, obviously. But I want to say more times than not, because I don't wear it all the time. I don't wear any fragrance all the time. I just have too many fragrances. A lot of positive attention with this one. Now, some people will complain about performance, and look, that's a you thing, not an everybody thing, because I actually get about seven hours of longevity and two hours of decent projection on my skin. And I've seen a lot of people have similar experience. Some people have even told me they get 10 or 12 hours. You have the greatest skin chemistry in history for this fragrance, if that is you. But a lot of people go the, the you know, the latter with, not the latter, the previous actually, with the weaker performance and it's not worth it for the money and all that. So that makes it not a safe blind buy. Definitely worth sampling though to get the experience. Yes, there's a ton of clones out there that smell like it, but none of them capture the magic. Not a one of them. I have a bunch of them. Not a one of them capture the magic, the original. You want that just, it's just a magnet. They should just be called Elysium Parfum Cologne Compliment Magnet. They should print the damn thing on the bottle from Raja Parfums. Yeah, it's that good in my experience. Now, this is my all-time number one compliment getter. I don't think I've ever wore this fragrance and not gotten a compliment. This is my second bottle. I've had it for, you know, pretty much since the year it came out. It's uh, the 2018 formula of Invictus Aqua from Paco Rabanne. Now, some people are going to ask, why does your bottle say the name of the fragrance on the front? Mine doesn't. My bottle came in a tester box. This is a tester. The testers always say the name. I have a tester of legend as well. 
that it says the name on the front. But this is bright, soapy, aquatic, floral, and powdery. Beautiful grapefruit. This fragrance makes me happy, guys. And I think that really plays a role in the positive attention I've gotten with this one because this is a mood-boosting fragrance for me. It really lifts my mood. Even if I'm already in a good mood, it puts me in a great mood. If I'm in a great mood, it puts me in a phenomenal mood. If I'm in a bad mood, it puts me in a good mood. It's just, it lifts my mood no matter where I'm at. It really levels me off and actually takes me a notch above because I love the way this smells on me so much. It's kind of a slightly above average performer. I get about seven hours of longevity on my skin. It's very loud in the first hour and a half to two hours. Then it calms down quite a bit and has a mild to moderate sillage. It's not an overwhelmingly strong fragrance as it calms down. The original 2016 formula was definitely stronger. But for me personally, this is, this is my favorite fragrance. This one smells the best to me. And that's what makes it my favorite fragrance is it puts me in a better mood no matter where my head's at good, bad, or indifferent, or anywhere in between, this lifts my mood. And obviously, a fragrance alone is not going to guarantee you any sort of compliment. Nothing guarantees you a compliment from a fragrance. It's the total package. It's your presentation, your body language, how you conduct yourself, how you carry yourself. It's your aura and your energy as a whole, combined with the cherry on top that can be a great smelling fragrance. And for me, this is a great smelling fragrance, and like I said, the mood boosting aspect of it, I'm sure, really plays a role. If you haven't tried this one yet, take my advice. Just try it. I'm not saying blind by this fragrance. I'm saying try it. You may love it like I do. Who knows? Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua 2018. One of the most difficult to not like fresh niche fragrances on the market. You can get it in the right above $100 price point for 50 mLs, which is what I paid for this one. It's Nishanese Wulong Cha. Perfectly unisex, absolutely phenomenal. You can see the note breakdown on the bottom of the label. So a lot of bright and radiant, zesty citrus, kind of sharp in many ways. It's got a watery aquatic feel to it. There's an herbal tea feel that provides this fresh, slightly herbaceous green tone, soft woods, a juicy fig. Oh, this is one of the best fig notes in fragrance, in all of perfumery. The way this one's blended, and it performs. This is solid, easy. Every time I've ever worn it, no matter the temperature, situation, whatever, at least eight hours on my skin. And it's mega fresh. When you spray this one and you smell it, it's hard to believe that it lasts the way it does. Because I'm not saying every single oil in here is the most natural, but typically these more natural, higher quality citruses and brighter notes and stuff tend to fade a lot quicker than your more synthetic ambergris and ambroxans and amber woods and stuff like that. Those last a lot longer. Those push a lot harder with projection. There might be some of that going on in here because this is actually pretty damn strong but still smells and reeks of quality. This is such a great daytime, spring and summer, warm weather fragrance that is captivating. It's slightly unique for being so fresh. That's what's special about it. That's what grabs people. It's intriguing. It makes people want to know what the hell you're wearing because they want to get a bottle of it themselves because you smell phenomenal. That is this kind of fragrance. This is a banger. This is an absolute banger. This had to be in this video. This is an experience worth having. If you haven't tried this one yet, you are doing yourself a disservice. If you're looking for fresh compliment getters that are built for the warm weather, you need to try Wulong Cha from Nishane. Now, I debated on featuring the blend of this fragrance and another freshie from this house, but I felt it only right and it only did justice to feature the original, the top-selling fragrance from City Rhythm. We're talking about Miami Tropical Seduction. Now, this is an old presentation. The bottles don't look like this anymore. This was magnetic caps and all that good stuff. This is Virgin Island Water Vibe on a much, much high, I mean, it's 50% oil concentration, much more dense, heavy, and high oil concentration, rich take with some earthy florals like Osmanthus, a hefty dose of that. This is a similar vibe without being the same fragrance. Like, it's not a clone of it. It's not inspired. I mean, it might take inspiration for the island vibe, but the scent profile is not exactly the same, but you will get that boozy, fruity, salt, salt water aquatic type of vibe to it. But there's a lot of earthy florals here. That's really what kind of changes the profile. And it's very warm and ambery and it's dry down. It is intoxicating. 
This is the number one seller from City Rhythm Fragrance for a reason. It's a phenomenal performer because it's such a high oil concentration. And even though it's such a heavy, a heavy production at 50%, because there's so many light oils to it, it manages to maintain a great projection and a strong presence and somewhat surprising airiness for being such a heavy, fresh, tropical fragrance. This is so well composed. I mean, it's easy to see why Miami Tropical Seduction is the number one selling fragrance from City Rhythm Fragrance. For those of you that don't know of City Rhythm Fragrance, they are an independent niche brand that puts out great stuff. This was the early days of City Rhythm, this older presence, that presentation style. They have much more unique bottles and atomizers and just everything has stepped up greatly since this bottle presentation, which this actually wasn't that bad to begin with. But you want to talk about a phenomenal attention grabber that just gives you the beach vibe. The hanging out at the tiki bar, having a fruity cocktail type of vibe on vacation. You're going to get it here. It's not too boozy, but it's got a nice warm rum presence. Saltwater aquatic, fruity citruses, earthy florals, dense woods and amber. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wife's a humongous fan of this one. City Rhythm Fragrance, Miami Tropical Seduction. Now this is another one of those mood boosting freshies that I, I pretty much specifically wear in the summer. This is the older formulation. The newer formulation is just a little bit sweeter and a little lighter on the aldehydes, but not a drastic difference from the 2022 formula. We're talking about YSL Y Eau de Toilette. This is the original formula. They do have a newer formula from 2022. This is just brighter with the aldehydes and not quite as sweet. There's a little bit more vanilla sweetness to the new version, but like I said, they're like, there's like a 90% similarity between the two. Slight differences. So if you get the newer one, you're fine. But this is beautiful. I've gotten many, many compliments in this amount of juice that I have dropped from it, which that's actually quite a bit of sprays. I love this fragrance. This was my favorite version of Y until I got the Le Parfum. Now this is my second favorite. It's so bright, sharp, enjoyable, great compliment getter, surprising performance on my skin. A lot of people have complained about performance with this one in its history, but I get like seven or eight hours on my skin and pretty good projection in the first hour and a half, two hours. Decent sillage, I would call it moderate, where I get pretty good whiffs of it throughout the majority of the life of it on my skin. This is captivating. Is it chemically synthetic smelling? Sure. It's not best to smell it direct like this. But out in the air, this is a lovely scent cloud around you. And this one puts me in a great mood, just like Invictus Aqua 2018 does. So I'm sure that plays a role. When you're positive, you're happy, you just look happy. You're that much more approachable, right? When you're giving off that type of energy. So the likelihood of getting a compliment is raised. Again, no guarantees from any fragrance in this video. My experiences may not be your experiences, but I'll tell you what, when I wear this one, which is strictly in the summertime, there's many opportunities for it. And traditionally, because I've been wearing it for two summers now, we're going to move into the third summer of me featuring this one and wearing this one exclusively in the summer. And I bet you I'm going to get several compliments again this summer because it works like gangbusters. Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Toilette. Last but not least is the warm weather fragrance that should be in every man's collection, in my opinion. No matter how much you've moved on to luxury niche or how much you're into the cheapies, no matter what side of the spectrum or anywhere in between you fall, you should have a bottle of Versace Mano Fresh at your disposal. And not just a fragrance that smells like Versace Mano Fresh, because I've got plenty. And they're all great. I enjoy all of them. But the magic, again, I go back to the magic, is in Versace Mano Fresh. It's a modern classic, crazy high seller for Versace for good reason. Because it's uber easy to wear and uber attractive to females. That's the main reason guys buy cologne is what's attractive to females, right? So this one, hard not to like. A little sour citrus with this carambola star fruit note, but there's other citruses here. It's bright and watery. It adds this aquatic tone to it. Very light blue heavy type of oceanic vibe to it. And there's a little bit of complexity here. There's a little bit of depth because it does get woodsy. There's a little bit of a fresh spicy tone and it's very clean and musky at the same time. Decent performer too, like a six hour fragrance on my skin. Some people get better, some people get worse. Everybody's situation and skin chemistry is different. Don't get me wrong, but in the high heat, when this stuff really starts pumping off the skin, I mean, you're gonna be hard pressed to find somebody that smells you and is gonna have anything but something positive to say 
if they're going to say something and make a comment on your fragrance. That's why I say this is kind of a must have in everyone's collection. If for some reason you don't have this in your collection, I'm not going to sit here and say there's anything such as such of a, you know, 100% safe blind buy, but it doesn't get much more safe than this. This is one that everybody should at least experience. Most retailers that sell designer fragrances are going to have this one, Sephora's, Ulta's, Dillard's, Macy's, and so on. Get out and try this one, then jump online from like the discount below in the description, for example, and get it for a much better price than retail. A must have for anybody's spring and summer wardrobe if you're interested in positive attention and ease of wear and just a fabulous scent. You need Versace Mano Fresh. Well, that's 10 that I have personal great experiences with, with garnering positive attention. Again, there's no guarantees for anyone. There's no guarantee every time I wear them either. It's all subjective. It's all situational. Just sharing my experiences because I get asked about topics like this all the time. Again, not the most important thing to me, but let's be honest here. Who doesn't like a nice, positive compliment from time to time when you're into fragrances and somebody wants to tell you you smell nice? Doesn't it make you feel good? And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What of these 10 have you tried or do you currently own or are you interested in getting your nose on? I'm curious to read about it down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 I featured in this video today and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.